Hello, my very talented artists. This week, we are inspired by a new artist, and his name is Romare Bairdin. And he created art quite a bit a long time ago. He's no longer alive, but he made some very beautiful artworks. It's, it's the kind of artworks that makes you want to tap your toe and dance a little bit. Can you tell that he is inspired by music? Yes, yeah, so he's inspired by jazz. And he was part of something called the Harlem Renaissance. And it was a time and a place in America that music, art, and people were coming up with some new ideas and uh, it was celebrated. So jazz was one of those things as well as this artist taking what Romare was inspired by and making our own art. We are making some jazz inspired artwork. So we are using instruments that you would use in jazz as well as his own artworks that use instruments to make our piece. Mine is a collage, which means when you cut up things and glue things. So it's when you take two things and put them together, that makes a collage. If you do not have extra paper, construction paper, newspaper, scrap paper, to do this with, that's okay. You can just draw it on your paper and color it in. No big deal. But we will make four different kinds of instruments. We will design a background. A background is something that's behind something. So the stripes is the background and our instrument is called something called the foreground that's in front of. So I will also show you how to draw some music notes um, piano, trumpet, guitar, and a clarinet. Let's get started on our project. You can use any construction paper you have, but if you don't, regular uh, notebook paper or white paper will work too. But with the pencil, you are going to draw a rectangle. You are going to draw a line on the top and two slanted lines and a line on the bottom. If this is too fast for you, pause it. Pause it as much as you need and then ovals in the middle and a square on top for something called a reed. Then we're gonna cut it out. So I hope you remembered scissor safety and you cut that out nicely if you are cutting it out. If you're just drawing it on your paper, then you don't have to worry about cutting it out. Our next instrument is going to be a guitar and it starts off with a cloud sort of shape it has like a little part on top middle and bottom almost a snowman really and it has lines coming down over a circle our next instrument is going to be a trumpet and it starts with a almost triangle as a two long skinny lines and a almost triangle on the other end. Remember this is fast so please pause it when you need to. Three rectangles in the middle with little circles for the buttons and a big loop for the rest of the trumpet. Do the best you can when drawing these instruments. And our last instrument is a piano keyboard. So that is a long skinny rectangle with lots of lines going through it. You could do this in pencil or with black marker, or black crayon, whatever you have. And I am going to add little dark lines for the rest of the piano. Do the best that you can. I'm really excited to see how you draw your instruments. Now we're going to cut this out to you. Background. It does not matter what you do. I just decided to do some diagonal lines. You could do um, a drawing if you'd like, but it does not um, matter. Do what you would like. So now we're going to glue our pieces onto the paper. Remember, if you did not uh, do the construction paper route, you don't have to worry about this. You skipped quite a bit of steps, which is nice. But remember to hold it for like 5 or 10 seconds to make sure the glue really stuck. You can use a glue bottle or a glue stick, whatever you have. 
If you don't have glue but you have tape, you can use that too. And once we have our pieces all glued, or our pieces all colored in, it is time to add some music notes. And music notes is almost a square with two balls on the end. Almost a square and two balls on the end. And there you go. Add as many as you'd like. You can scatter them around. You could have them go into a line as if music is coming out of the instruments. Good job. I can't wait to see you and how you design the background and where you put your instruments at. So make sure you take a photo of it and submit it into Seesaw or Google Classroom, depending on which one I want you to use. And remember, when you take your photo, it is straight. Your room has a lot of light, so I can see every part of your piece. Your fingers are out of the way, and you take the picture. And you have a better chance of being in the gallery. Okay, I hope you had fun. Bye.